Hi, Dr. Sylvester here. Let me tell you about a condition that occurs not commonly in cats, but watch this video because once you've seen it and heard about it, you will not forget about this condition and how to manage it. So, for some reason that we don't fully understand, cats seem to like to fracture their patellas. It is not common. I have seen it about half a dozen times in my 30 year career. It's actually pretty horrible when you see it. These cats are have a difficult time moving. And on radiographs, when you look at this, it's horrific because you can't imagine that this is going to settle itself without having some kind of formidable surgery performed. The patella is there just to add strength to the patellar tendon and the quadriceps mechanism. Contracting the quadriceps muscle and therefore activating the whole patellar tendon quadriceps mechanism is the only way that an animal or human can extend the stifle. So when there's a break in the quadriceps mechanism, either by fracturing your patella or by having an avulsion of your tibial crest, the pet can't extend the stifle and they have this really crouched walking stance appearance. It looks horrible and I'm sure it's not that comfortable for the pet. It is very difficult to surgically repair a fractured patella, especially in a cat. Cats have very hard bones and the patella in a cat is very tiny. So it is a lot more difficult to work with. Plus whatever repair mechanism we use has to overcome the incredibly strong distractive forces of the quadriceps mechanism. Said otherwise, whatever we do, the quadriceps mechanism just wants to go and destroy our repair. The complication rate with repair of a fractured patella is quite high. The literature shows that there's an excellent clinical outcome with these pets, especially if they have a mild to moderate displacement of the fragments of the fractured patella. Now, if you were to take radiographs on these cats, they're doing fine after fracturing their patellas, you would probably notice that the patella is still in two pieces. That's because they get a fibrous union as opposed to a bony union, but that's okay because the quadriceps mechanism is working well and that's all we really care about. I hope this has been helpful and should you encounter one of these cases in your practice, you won't be surprised and you will know exactly what to do with the patient.